It's a pleasure having you all around again. This is part two of the Masonry Storeroom. My name is Alan Leblanc. As you remembered, the first part, part one of the Masonry Storeroom, we were working on the foundation. And remember, that foundation is on the top of a septic tank. So let's get right into it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I have a little bonus to the end. Uh, we took a little trip, my family and I, to the island of St. John. That's for my son's birthday. And we explored the underwater world down there. And of course, ah man, the views from above. I will also be showing you a tool that I fabricated. Uh, that's what I use to make my stirrups for the storeroom. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for notifications so in the future you will get to see other videos because there will be more coming well ladies and gentlemen let's begin a couple days after the foundation was poured a friend of mine delivered the blocks for me his name is connie with his ford f350 with a 460 engine, very dependable truck. And it also dumps. My son assisted me in um, taking the blocks off and pretty much that was it for the day. From here on are a group of videos, time wrap videos that showed how the work progressed as the days went by. So enjoy that part. exterior wall is six inches and the stirrups had to be fabricated to accommodate the thickness of the wall now when I went to buy stirrups 
for a 16-inch wall, there were none. So I had to set up a tool. And this is it right there. Uh, this is much, much more comfortable to use compared to this obstacle course looking stuff with this steel spike that is protruding out of a piece of lumber. I've used both and this one is much easier to use and of course um, it's a less of a chance of you damaging yourself. This one I fabricated, I made approximately five years ago. It's made out of inch and a half by quarter inch flat bar that's still flat bar and an inch by quarter inch flat bar and also a half inch by half inch square bar. Okay, let's glide and take a closer view of it. You could see two pieces of flat bar to the front and the right here is a space that accommodates the three inch bend for the stirrup. You also have the half inch groove between both flat bars that holds the steel while you are bending it. Uh, this one, well, forget it. The welding on this one is not the best. I'm a much better welder now than I used to be. Let's see how this one performs. I'm going to demonstrate to you how this works uh, between the two flat bar that groove is a piece of rebar, a piece of steel and in my right hands is a piece of pipe. The longer the pipe is, the more leverage you have and the easier it is to bend the steel. It usually takes five bends uh, to make a complete stirrup. This piece of steel was about uh, three inches short so I did not get to bend that fifth bend but uh, pretty much you have the idea here goes okay this is the first bend easy very easy all right coming to the second bend now right here uh, that's the long part about eight and a half inches second bend you come into the third bend which gives you the three inches and then finally in this case the fourth bend after this you would have been able to put it within the three inch groove and give it the fifth bend perfect for six inch blocks uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not going to touch this thing. On the other hand, if you would like one of these to fabricate your own stirrups, I could fabricate one of those for you at whatever dimensions you would like those stirrups to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this and drop it right here. What I'm going to do is play some clips of the beautiful island of St. John, the underwater world of St. John, and also some panoramic views. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the notification bell. And um, if you liked this video, press like.